so what is up everyone it's uh it's been quite a while since we've done a, a tier list video on this channel but about a month or so ago when i was about to go take a streaming break uh we got the sub goal for not only the genshin waifu tier list but the genshin husbando tier list so both of those will be coming out like in back to back weeks kind of thing but of course we have to start with the genshin waifus along with i even made a little bit of extra effort to name the tiers something a little bit better than just sa and things like that and also about two or three weeks ago i actually made this tier list and then i stored it away just to see how my tiers would actually play out uh so uh at the end of this we'll be actually comparing the two see how well we did uh, i'm pretty much just gonna go down the rows starting with amber and i know she's bad in the game she gets a lot of flack for that but we gotta be honest amber is a super cutie i think i'd probably take her to olive garden maybe even introduce her to my family who knows but amber definitely the top of like the high tier waifus uh unfortunately i don't i think this is like ayaka i think that's her name but i know nothing of her uh, and that portrait of her doesn't really even do her justice, so I'm not gonna rank her based on just that. Next, we got Barbara, Barbara, and it's an easy S tier. She's a nurse. She is cute as hell. I'm going to ignore like the 1.3 like voice changes. Like I should probably take that into account, but I'm pretty sure that was like the English voice uh, changes and. Holly doesn't let me play on English, so I'm going to go like 1.2 and back kind of thing, especially since when we met the sub goal, it was still 1.2. Uh, her outfit's adorable, her voice is adorable. Uh, I'm a cleric kind of person anyway, so it's kind of cool to have a healer. Even though I don't personally use her, that's because I'm just saving everything for one particular character, which, you know, we will see later on in the video. But no, Barbara's absolutely adorable, a joy to clean around the church you know just incredible absolutely incredible uh for the next character this one actually kind of grew on me a little bit since i'm pretty sure when i first did it and uh beto hopefully i'm saying her name right um the drunk mommy and i'm pretty sure she grew on me because like uh, apparently I'm just like a, a heavy claymore user uh, and when I got to test her in like the 1.3 patch uh, the counter was actually pretty neat too so uh, Beto not bad at all uh, you know I, I'm already dating someone that you know could probably crush me bench press me things like that I don't need another one in my life so we'll put Beto at uh, B tier uh, Diona we already know we don't loot the lollies in this Christian channel, all right? We leave them to be. Uh, put official, official's next. Uh, see, I want to level her up. Seems like she's good. Uh, I even you know, maybe because because of Holly, but the, the slight emo edge kind of thing. Like, like I want to be drawn to her, but I don't like have like this like connection of sorts. I don't have like this enjoyment of her yet. The edginess might be even like a little like cringy, I guess. I don't know. But her outfit, sweet. That the hair long, like across one of her eyes, kind of dig that. So I'm, I'm gonna put her in B tier for now, uh, just cause like she's a cutie. Her Japanese voice, I think Holly plays on. Uh, with the Chinese voices. Both of them are pretty cute, so I think that's a justified spot. Uh, Ganyu. Ooh, boy, Ganyu. Uh, like, it's just like, she's like so, like, soft-spoken. She's like so sweet. And I know, like, a lot of Genshin streamers love to talk about her ass. It's, you know, I, I don't know. It, it's there, I guess. It, it, it's she's cute and whatnot i enjoy playing her again not completely leveled up yet but uh i think i'd probably put her above amber i'm not too sure just because like amber is like the right from the get-go cutie but ganyu is like the new girl on the block so it might be a little bit of recency bias but for now well we'll put her there uh i think this bitty is the bitty from like the beginning of you know the game when you get like that cutscene. 
so still just don't have enough information yet so not gonna even try judging that uh up next we got gene and i actually pulled my first gene from the ganyu banner she was actually my first five star so i didn't win to 50 50 but i'm pretty sure like i was like as excited to get gene as i was ganyu and uh for whatever reason uh when i first started playing the game like day one before like i quit day one i kept on getting gene and lisa's like names like mixed up i guess because like gene sounds older than lisa so i thought like the older you know woman being lisa was actually named gene uh but I, I, I like how Jean presents herself. Her play style is pretty fun. You know, I was going, I'm currently also leveling her up. So, uh, I, f I, I, I feel like I, I, S tier might be a little generous, but, but Jean is, she's up there for sure. Uh, I, oh yeah, I'm gonna put her at top of A. For now, we'll, we'll come back to it. We might reorganize some things. But on to Kachin. Hopefully, I put the emphasis correctly. Uh, she's a cutie. I have really haven't gotten played much with her. I know, like, everyone I know really enjoys her. Um, but she seems, like, almost generic. There's just, like, not a lot going on kind of thing. Uh, so, you know, there's not too much of a connection there. But... I always put her in B tier, you know, nothing too horribly crazy. Uh, Klee, I will say, of uh, like uh, the lollies, I think she's probably the cutest one of them all. Uh, the backstory was adorable. Either like, I think like hers or Mona's, they're both relatively cute. Um, but yeah, not much to say about that. I think this is uh, like Signora, I think that's her name. She'll probably go in C tier, just cause like I'm already, you know, petty enough as it is. I'm not sure if I need a woman that could potentially uh, one up me, trump me, things like that. Uh, and you know, stealing the the Nemo uh, Archons. Um, the I can't remember that the thing that gives the gods their power. Uh, Holly was just talking about that uh, like either earlier today or like last night um, I can't remember that but uh, she'd probably scare me uh, she'd probably be like a woman that's like taller than me because I you know I'm kind of short for a guy I'm 5'8 not here to brag or anything but I feel like she'd be taller and just having her eclipse me I'm not sure I'd be too down for that uh, next we got Lisa and oh boy again like I was talking about earlier, uh, I kept on getting Jean and Lisa mixed up, but when I got the game, it was like Razor and Jean were like the two people I was like most excited for. Uh, and I absolutely just love having a MILF librarian. I think there was like a little bit of a backstory where like she kind of like hits on the main character, even though she's not like what I feel like all too good, like on the battlefield. Uh, her personality, she's kind of nice. Her, uh, the way she looks kind of nice. And she doesn't play poorly, I just don't think, you know, she's kind of like an Amber where she's like all, all that and anything. But I absolutely love her. Uh, and yeah, she's definitely in one of my S tiers. Mona, uh, might be a little controversial kind of thing. Like, uh, you know, model wise, she definitely got kind of like a, a juicy dump trunk kind of thing. But her, her personality was, it's probably like an acquired taste kind of thing. I didn't, it was, you know, kind of whatever. Um, her, her her story quest was fairly okay. Uh, but, you know, there, there, there wasn't like too much for me. Um, like, I'm not going to go purely off aesthetics kind of thing except i guess maybe for like lisa uh but yeah i'd probably put her in c tier currently you know there's just even though i'm an ass man i th there there's just no connection there um then guang hopefully i said that correctly i feel like most of these characters i'm probably saying improperly uh i feel like that was another character that grew on me just like uh beto 
where originally I'm like, mm, like I'm not, I'm not feeling it, even though it's like my favorite element in the game. Uh, even the way she played wasn't even like that bad, but it's just like the way, you know, in the story that, like, it was weird. Like I didn't like how she presented herself at first, but then when she sacrificed like the Jade Chamber, it was kind of it's a pretty cool kind of thing. She kind of grew on me um, a little bit, so. I'd probably put her right above Beto currently. Uh, I didn't realize I was gonna have so many uh, ladies in the Bobby's category, but you know, here we are. Here we are. Also, here we are at my personal favorite character in the whole game, bar none. Absolutely adore Noel. Easily my waifu of choice. She's a maid. She even resembles the VTuber Noel, so I got Noel and Noel um, being a knight for like whatever reasons. I think I might I love knights in like almost every game, so made knight. Uh, just the way she plays, I love her Q takes you know part of your defense, adds it to your attack like Claymore user. Like there's just there's just so much to love about Noel trying to rise through the ranks like. Ooh, just perfection. I'm so glad she's like one of the starter characters, even though unfortunately in the Ganyu banner when she was featured, I got 13 Xiaolings, 10 Water Boys, 2 Ganyus, Diluc, Jean, Chi Chi, and only 2 Noels. And like the very last day I did like 110 pulls, I think it was, 110, and I got 0 Noels. It was. It was rough. It was definitely rough for your boy. Uh, Paimon, E-tier, emergency food. We should have all seen that one come in if you know Genshin even a little bit. Um, Paimon's just annoying, you know, just like a Navi of sorts. Uh, just, I, or, like, the, I, I don't know, she frustrates me, you know? It, it, trying to be like a detective or being the, the voice of us or trying to come up with her own like opinions or thoughts and they're always just, Awful, stupid. Anytime I get the answer, like something to throw her under the bus, for sure I will. For sure. Tired of her. So she doesn't even get like the, the lolly tier below that. And then speaking of lollies, Chi Chi. Obviously, don't loot lollies, but that would be the order of the lollies so far. Chi Chi, uh, that's like one of Holly's main characters. Seems pretty cute. Uh, the her, her little bit of snippet of story was was adorable as well but not not the character for me not on my team or anything so uh, with these last five do I, do I want to mix this up a little bit no I'll just keep on going down my line sucrose easily easily S tier for sure I love the color that that particular green of her hair absolutely adorable she seems a little a little clumsy a little shy especially during the, the, El, the Albedo story. Just such a cutie. Her outfit's even just like adorable. Um, the, like when I realized she had like this like really long ponytail, I'm like, oh, that's kind of weird. But at the same time, she's like, I'm not going to like falter for like the ponytail. I'm just not like that kind of person. I like the short hair, like twin tails, things like that. So the short hair that Sucrose has, mm, it's delicious, perfect. Um, and I even have her on my team. I actually really enjoy using her. Uh, you know, she ain't anything too crazy. She only got to like 400 EM, so you know, ain't no 8, 9,000 EM kind of thing. But Sucrose, super cutie. I was glad I got her during the Albedo banner. Uh, oh boy. Lumine, I think that's how you say it. Main character lady. Um, I'm gonna put her in A tier. I wish, like, and when I hear her voice more, I would like to, you know, see more them like i know they're like almost in every cutscene and things like that but uh maybe it's just like a normal main character thing but i want more like out of them kind of thing uh, but aesthetics uh you know pretty cute pretty gosh darn cute as a main character should be abilities be it wind or geo i think are both pretty nice obviously there's gonna be better in both sections but uh just a solid all-around character good a tier you know, nothing wrong with, you know, being the Mario of a game, I think. Good all-arounder. Uh, so I like how Venti and Waterboy on it are on here. Don't know why, but I'll take it. Venti's backstory, I remember streaming it. 
and like the first you know half i was like uh you know i just want to do this for experience the primo gems etc etc but then people in my chat like no it's like it's really good you know a little tragic but really good you should you know pay more attention than i did i was like whoa like that that that's like ooh man his, his story is something special um and the little bit that i did get to play with him it was pretty nice pretty nice I, I even like the his like structure that he is you know he seems kind of like for like a lack of a better word a bitch kind of thing just like i like the way he's built I like his voice just like everything pretty nice so it's definitely an a tier for sure for sure Zhao Ling, i like me a good cook and i like a girl that could probably beat my ass Zhao Ling fits both of those uh aesthetically pretty cute uh when you go see her like i think it's like character just like attribute page and whatnot and she takes uh when she's like eating something she makes uh, like that squealing noise i don't know why it's just super adorable to me so we have yet another a tier uh, i would actually probably ooh, that's hard uh i use jowling more in amber oh that's so hard Ooh. Yikes. Ah. A tier will need to be rearranged after I place Waterboy. I really don't know why he's on here. Like, I could almost understand Venti, but Waterboy? Um, kind of. Kind of weird. His personality is. It, 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 there's a lot to be desired, I guess. Like, you know, he has good intentions. But. I guess he has money, but. Uh, I didn't really like the way he plays. Now that I have him like C6, I get like all the benefits. Now understand the game a little bit more. Um, you know, I'd probably put him at like top of like C tier just because. Mm, oh yeah. There, there's, we we probably just better as friends. You know, that that's the way I I feel about it. So, oh gosh. I'm not sure if I should have gone you that high. Like, I feel like it might almost need to be like that. Oh man, you know what? Yeah, I think I think this is the way to go. I think this is what I'm digging right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, so now that we got this, I'm actually going to compare the two tier lists from let's just say three weeks ago to today. So I think this is it. Yes. So can I? There we go. And then I actually probably need to move myself, don't I? Let's just. Yeah. All right. So let me. Let's just all go like right here yeah this works okay so no surprise my s tier looks about the same that's pretty nice um apparently i had drastically different opinions about mona from three weeks ago to now i might have been horny on main or something um and ganyu definitely moved up gene moved up uh Zhao Ling is actually in the exact same spot, just with different characters. So is Lumine. Um, Fischl, same spot. Beidou went down like a spot or so, but Ning Wang moved up. It's Ignora. Yep. Um, Kaching moved up a spot. Yep. Okay, so y yeah. Pro almost everything was the same, except, uh, wow, Mona was w way up there. Now she moved way down. Lordy, and I had Amber at top of A tier, which I could still, you know, get behind kind of thing. She's definitely a cutie. But, uh, yeah, it's kind of cool to see a little bit of changes here and there with this over a course of, like, you know, two to three weeks. Uh, but one thing for sure, Noel is our girl. Uh, if you guys have any opinions, any comments, you want to link yours down below, you can put in comments put in my discord all the links will be in the social media or in, uh not the social media in the description down below sorry this was a little bit longer but hey there's a there's a good amount of content to talk about i didn't want to just play some here and there and do things like that but it's kind of nice to get back to the, 
the tier list game. Uh, and then next week, the Husbando list. So hopefully you guys are ready for that. <laughs>